I'm pleased to announce that the board has identified a finalist and today we'll move to appoint Dr. Karen Salmon as Maryland State Superintendent of School. I am a longtime Maryland educator, as, as everyone knows, and this gives me the opportunity to continue my mission. Like my grandmother, like my mother. Dr. Salmon, too, was a teacher. I have to tell you that the reason I'm standing here today is because of my first grade teacher. And Mrs. Carrico is still alive today, and she's 103. She knows firsthand and honors at every opportunity the hard work, influence, and creativity of the teacher. The winner is Teresa <laughs> And her 40 plus years as an educator have taught her teachers change lives. It's really timely to show that teaching is a great profession, that we can celebrate it like we do all the other professions, and that we really recognize the importance of teaching in Maryland. Most of us wouldn't be where we are if it weren't for those teachers. From the start of her tenure, Dr. Salmon makes equity and excellence her hallmark. We want to make sure that each student has access to the best educational programs and that we're giving kids the right preparation for, for their college and careers. Early on, the federal government mandates the Every Student Succeeds Act, better known as ESSA. Dr. Salmon leads a listening tour around the state. To get anyone's input that wants to give input on our new Maryland state plan for ESSA. Let's move to our groups now. It's the start of nearly two years of work. The ESSA plan and later the Maryland School Report Card proved the most comprehensive picture of school and system performance in state history. Maryland's detailed plan to implement ESSA addressed accountability and innovation. The plan, written over the course of 18 months with unprecedented input and support of stakeholders, was approved by the United States Department of Education in early 2018. The Maryland School Report Card looks at factors such as growth in achievement, high school graduation rates, student access to a well-rounded curriculum, progress in achieving English language proficiency, and readiness for post-secondary success. Special education. <laughs> Under Dr. Salmon's leadership. <laughs> I, I want to do elementary, yeah. Career and college readiness includes the Teacher Academy of Maryland. Mm -hmm. Another Salmon hallmark, career and technical education expands, offers students a multitude of choices. Right now. And then I'm gonna add water to the mix. Also in the mix, MSDE launches a new teacher recruitment program called Teach in Maryland. The theme of today, rising towards excellence. The red carpet approach with a new application and certification hub aims at bright, diverse young candidates. I want to like make school what I want it, like what I want it to be for like other students. I want to be a teacher to like not just like teach my students, but like bring them up like they're one of my own. Accomplishments pile up. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through mdreportcard.org. A stat crunching like research department that's become a national model. A process to vet and improve English language arts and math. A sharp focus on socio-emotional and mental health. The first state equity regulations. A $21 million grant to start new charter schools and more. A few hours ago. And then the coronavirus. The first uh, positive cases of coronavirus in Maryland. We closed schools. We provided nutritious meals. Food service workers become school lunch heroes. They prepare more than 80 million meals. And then we began negotiating our biggest logistical learning curve remote teaching environments. In an end of year address last June, she praised teachers who tackled virtual learning keeping students connected. Well, Maryland State School Superintendent will stay on the job for another year because of the coronavirus pandemic. And that same month, she puts off retirement to see through the tough work ahead. The issues now come fast and furious. The state puts together a continuity of learning plan and follows with a guide for local school systems to transition to hybrid and virtual learning. And a roadmap to recovery with strategies for moving forward. But some schools taking precautions, Good morning. masks on, Good morning, Governor. socially distant, return to the classroom. Now, Superintendent Salmon's tenure comes to a close. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Salmon's mommy. Her daughter, no surprise, a successful fourth generation teacher. 
it's just exactly what we've been talking about and envisioning is this gradual return to schools now well positioned to return so in the fall excited. very happy about today congratulations dr salmon and thank you